This demonstration should last about five minutes, so it's at a pace you can follow. Beforehand, take note that your self-tie bow tie has more or less identical ends, with a seam on the edges, but two different sides. The face side is what's worn outside, and the flip side has an adjustment for length. There is a minimum length needed so that the bow tie can be tied. Beyond that, the bow tie will be loose. Here's how to figure out the right length. Notice that either end looks like a fish, with this as the widest hump. Fold it right at the hump top, and pinch with your hand where the end lands on the tie. Do the same with the other end without letting go of the first mark. So fold on the hump top, and mark where the end lands on the tie. With the two points marked on either side, your neck should just fit in between these two points. The ends meet, but not overlap. So adjust the length of the bow tie to do this. Now you're ready to tie it. Notice that when you fold at the hum top, you create a bow shape where one side is a flap and the other a fold. The same thing with the other end. A flap and a fold. What we'll be doing when we tie the bow tie is putting these two bow shapes together and bind them in the middle. Viewed from the top, they will be layered like this. A flap and a fold, over a flap and a fold. This is a mirror image video to help you follow. And this is my right hand. To begin, face side out, place the bow tie around your neck, flat against it. Have the whole fish tail on the right hang lower. Now we're going to take the right side and cross it over the left, making an X, which will become the bow tie. It doesn't really matter which side is over the other, as the knot tying can be done either way. To begin, we're going to have the front end, this one, come out of the hole. I do that by putting my left thumb in front of it and push it through the hole from below. Reach around and pull it through. Pull to tighten and let it fall in front of you. Make sure the X is not moved from the middle of the collar. The front end should now be an inch or two longer, sometimes more. It doesn't matter. Next, we're going to form a bow from the rear end. It helps to pull aside the front end for this. The bow is formed by folding the hum top and putting the middle of the bow over the X. Fold on the right, flap on the left, behind the front end. Then fold the bow around the front end with the flap meeting the fold, and pinch them in place with your left hand. This forms a hole at the back which you can see from the side. It is through this hole that the other bow goes through. Fold first. It's easier to have a corner of the fold go in first as it's a point. That is what we're gonna do next. So without letting go of the first bow, form a mouth from the hump top of the still hanging rear end. It's this corner between my right thumb and forefinger that goes in first. So go ahead and push the bottom corner of the fold through the hole at the back. You can use your left thumb as a guide. Once the bottom corner is through, both hands can now be used to move the rest of the width of the fold through. This is the whole width of the fold through now, and you have folds on both sides. This one that just got through, and the fold on the right. Find the folds on each side, straighten them up if needed, then firmly pinch the middles to carefully pull on each fold. This tightens the bend in the center but leaves the bow tie out of shape and not balanced. So now find the flaps on each side, straighten them up if needed, then straighten each side, make the fold and the flap on each side line up. To tighten the band, pull in the folds until tight. Make sure not to pull the flaps past the band in the middle or the bow tie will unravel. Then pull on the flaps to make the fold and flap on each side line up. To arrange the finished bow tie, 
flatten the band in the middle, take out the creases. You can put your thumbs at the back from the middle of the band and push front to stretch it. Finally, fold each side of the bow forward while keeping the flaps and folds aligned. Make sure everything looks nice. At this point, you can now flip your collar down. Do the final touches, and you're all done.